the sons of Issachar, Tola, Pua, Jashub, and Shimron, four in all. The sons of Tola, Uzai, Rephaiah, Jeriel, Jamai, Ipsam, and Samuel, heads of their families. During the reign of David, the descendants of Tola listed as fighting men in their genealogy numbered 22,600. The son of Uzai, Israhiah, the sons of Israhiah, Michael, Obadiah, Joel, and Ishiah. All five of them were chiefs. According to their family genealogy, they had 36,000 men ready for battle, for they had many wives and children. The relatives who were fighting men belonging to all the clans of Issachar, as listed in their genealogy, were 87,000 in all. Three sons of Benjamin, Bela, Beker, and Jediel. The sons of Bela, Espen, Uzai, Uzziel, Jeremoth, and Iri, heads of families, five in all. Their genealogical record listed 22,034 fighting men. The sons of Beker, Samira, Joash, Eliezer, Elioenai, Amri, Jeremoth, Abijah, Anathoth, and Alameth. All these were the sons of Beker. Their genealogical record listed the heads of families and 20,200 fighting men. The son of Jediel, Bilhan, the sons of Bilhan, Jeush, Benjamin, Ehud, Kineuna, Zethan, Tarshish, and Ahishahar. All these sons of Jediel were heads of families. There were 17,200 fighting men ready to go out to war. The Shuppites and Huppites were the descendants of Ur, and the Hushites the descendants of Ahur. The sons of Naphtali, Jaziel, Gunai, Jezer, and Shilam, the descendants of Bilhah. The descendants of Manasseh, Asriel was his descendant through his Aramean concubine. She gave birth to Machir, the father of Gilead. Machir took a wife from among the Huppites and Shuppites. His sister's name was Meuka. Another descendant was named Zelophehad, who had only daughters. Machir's wife Meuka gave birth to a son and named him Pirish. His brother was named Shirish, and his sons were Ulam and Rakim, the son of Ulam, Bedan. These were the sons of Gilead, son of Makir, the son of Manasseh. His sister, Hamalaketh, gave birth to Ishad, Abaiza, and Mala. The sons of Shemida were Ahian, Shechem, Lichai, and Anayim. The descendants of Ephraim, Shuthala, Berit, his son, Tehath, his son, Eliada, his son, Tehath, his son, Zabed, his son, and Shuthala, his son. Ezer and Eliad were killed by the native-born men of Gath when they went down to seize their livestock. Their father Ephraim mourned for them many days, and his relatives came to comfort him. Then he made love to his wife again, and she became pregnant and gave birth to a son. He named him Beriah, because there had been misfortune in his family. His daughter was Shira, who built Lower and Upper Beth Horon, as well as Uzan Shira. Repha was his son, Reshef his son, Tila his son, Tehan his son, Laden his son, Amiah his son, Elishama his son, Nun his son, and Joshua his son. 
Their lands and settlements included Bethel and its surrounding villages, Naorun to the east, Gezer and its villages to the west, and Shechem and its villages all the way to Ea and its villages. Along the borders of Manasseh were Bethshan, Teonach, Megiddo, and Dor, together with their villages. The descendants of Joseph, son of Israel, lived in these towns. The sons of Asher, Imna, Ishva, Ishvai, and Beriah. Their sister was Sira. The sons of Beriah, Heber and Malchiel, who was the father of Birzeah. Heber was the father of Japhlet, Shomer, and Hotham, and of their sister Shua. The sons of Japhlet, Pesach, Bimhal, and Ashvath. These were Japhlet's sons. The sons of Shomer, Ahai, Roga, Hubba, and Aram. The sons of his brother Helam, Zopha, Imna, Shelish, and Amul. The sons of Zopha, Sua, Harnifer, Shul, Birai, Imra, Bezer, Had, Shama, Shilsha, Ithran, and Beera. The sons of Jetha, Jephuna, Pispa, and Ara. The sons of Ula, Ara, Haniel, and Reziah. All these were descendants of Asher, heads of families, choice men, brave warriors, and outstanding leaders. The number of men ready for battle, as listed in their genealogy, was 26,000.